GMS supports creating animated videos that can be used to present your model's data outside of GMS. For a transient model, an animation can be generated that shows how model data changes through time as shown by this transient dataset. Animations are generated by first opening the animation wizard. For this animation, I'll use the default values for generating an AVI file using the currently selected transient dataset, and I'll click on Next to go to the next animation wizard view. This wizard view controls which time steps of the transient dataset are shown. I'll use the defaults, then click on Finish to generate the animated video. Once the animation file is generated, the AVI animation gets opened in the Play AVI application included with the GMS installation. The Play AVI application includes basic controls for displaying the animation. The animation can also be opened in other video players such as Windows Media Player. When creating an animation, we can also move the view. To demonstrate, I'll begin our animation of this model from above, showing the well screens as they're covered by the ISO surface, and then fly by the wells as we rotate the model. First, I'll open the animation wizard and select Moving View. Once again, we'll use the default values to match the dataset time steps and click on Next. In this wizard view, we'll set up how the graphics view will change during the animation. For the first view, I'll change the dip to 65 so we can see the well screen. Then I'll add a duplicate view by double clicking at about time step 17. Finally, I'll add a view for the last time step. For this view, I'll change the bearing to 135 to rotate around the z-axis. I'll change the dip to negative 45 to go below the xy plane. And I'll change the width to 1,500 to zoom in closer as the view rotates. Then I'll click on Finish to generate the animation. As we can see in the generated animation, the view stays in position when going between the first two views until the well screen is covered, and then zooms in as it rotates to arrive at the last view. A transient animation can also be exported to a KMZ file, which can be shown in Google Earth. First, I'll turn off the base map so it isn't included in the animation. In the animation wizard, I'll change the type of animation generated from AVI to KMZ. Then I click on Finish to generate the KMZ file. After the KMZ file gets generated, it opens automatically in Google Earth. And as the animation is playing, I can navigate around the model.